Nigeria must double its efforts to becoming polio-free again. For that to happen, government is, and its agency must overrate modest gains being achieved against a scourge. The caution came at a concert and fundraiser organized by Rotary International. We have more details in this report. The last reported type 3 case of polio worldwide had its onset 11th of November 2012 in Nigeria. But sometimes in 2018, there was a relapse as fresh cases were reported in Jigawa, Katsina and Yobe states. Recent developments and their efforts to roll back the virus which are sustained by domestic and international financing as well as the commitment of thousands of health workers and strategies to immunize children who previously couldn't be reached because of a lack of security in the country's northern states show that hope is once again in the air but greater vigilance is advised. We proposed uh, to the World Health Assembly in 1987 the need for war to be a polio-free country, a polio-free world. Uh, and with the support of WHO at that time, we got the World Health Assembly to get together with the group Polio Eradication Initiative that countries, 127 countries at that time, subscribed that polio eradication is something that needs to be done. We've done a lot of work, all those sleepless nights, all those hours as work on the field is has paid off. And Nigeria has not had a case of polio for three years and the certification process is ongoing to certificate, to certify not only Nigeria but the whole of Africa to be free of polio. When you talk about the war against polio, people have the misconception that it's all about government and people in government. They never knew that Rotary International was spearheading this fight. And so far so good. Uh, two years running, we have been certified polio free. Sir, what did you say? This concert is in two parts. First, it is a celebration of Nigeria's success in fighting the virus. And second, the renewed call for vigilance. Pakistan and Afghanistan are two countries still fighting the scourge. This is fueling the drive to ensure no country is left behind in the dream of a polio-free world. The thing we've always done, we move our best teams. And when I say our best teams, it includes the best teams in all the partnership, whether it's Rotary, WHO, UNICEF, the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and our in-country partners, the Semikofa Foundation, the Aliko Damgrove Foundation. We continued you know, to put heads together you know, to ensure that what needs to be done, you know, gets done. We need to remain vigilant. We still have two countries, Afghanistan and Pakistan, that still have polio. And Nigeria is still at risk. If any country has polio anywhere in the world, it's just a plane ride away from another epidemic in another country. So we need to remain vigilant. Polio ambassadors such as comedian Alibaba, Kate Henshaw, Fino and Timaya graced the occasion with scintillating performances. Theophilus Ilama, TVC News, Lagos.